everybody, welcome to the channel, it's W3 here. In today's Python tutorial video, we're going to be cracking and getting Google Chrome database passwords. Basically what that means is, if somebody has used Google Chrome and they're logging into their Facebook, their Twitter, their Instagram, anything else, and they basically save the password so they don't have to type it again, which is what a lot of people do. Basically what this program will do is, it will get the passwords from the Google Chrome, and you'll have passwords to all their accounts, you have the URL that's used, you have the password, and you have the username, as we're going to see. So basically what I did is, I downloaded Google Chrome, installed it, everything, I went to Gmail, typed in username, typed in password, it said do you want to save this for future reference, so you don't have to keep typing in, I said yes, I went to Facebook, I done the same, logged in, saved it. So now it's saved to the browser. I don't have to type my password in every time I go to Gmail, Facebook, like a lot of people do. A lot of people do this. So now we've got a bit of code. We're going to run it and see if it works, see if we can get the username, the password, and even the URL that they went to so we can distinguish between different accounts and passwords for different websites. So Python, file underscore w3.py. We'll run it, see what happens. Dun, dun, dun. <clears throat> As you can see, I've done this on purpose, first of all, just to show you. SQLite3 operational error, database is locked. You're probably thinking, how the hell are we going to get the passwords, usernames? Well, thing is, you close the Chrome browser and the database will be unlocked. And we'll do the code again. And as you can see, URL, accounts.google, URL, facebook.com, username, w3 underscore facebook underscore example, password only for test. Google account, username is w 3 underscore example at gmail.com, password, this is for the W3 channel. So obviously they're not my real username and passwords because I'm not going to do that. But this is just to show you guys that it can be done and this is how you do it. So let's get cracking into the code. And obviously don't use this for illegal purposes, I don't support that. Boom. Let's go. So let's begin. We're going to start off with our imports like we always do. Imports. Da, da, da. And we're going to import OS so we can mess around with the OS. We're going to import SQLite 3 so we can access the database, do SQL queries. And we're also going to import Win32 Crypt. That's so we, that's going to help us get the password basically. We're going to use that. Next, we're going to have to create a function. So I'm going to do def get underscore Chrome, shall we say, because we're getting Chrome passwords and usernames <coughs> next we need to do data underscore path equals os dot path dot expand user and then we're going to use that little character there can't remember what's called but basically that bring you to the home directory and then we're going to do plus and then we're going to add the file path to the chrome browser sq database basically I'm just going to copy and paste this in here because I can't be bothered to type it out. We've got, we got an R, and then because we're using slashes, so we've got an R at the start of the string. Then we've got app data, slash local, slash Google, slash Chrome, slash user, space data, slash default, slash login, space data. And that'll basically, that's the, that's the path for the database that we need. So next, C equals sqlite three dot connect and then data underscore path so that's us basically connecting to the database with the c variable there next we're going to do cursor equals c dot cursor next we need to do our select statement so we're going to do select underscore statement which is going to equal just going to copy and paste it can't bother to type it out, but we've got capital select, and then we've got space origin underscore URL, comma, space username underscore value, comma, space password underscore value, space capital from space logins. Basically, this is the select statement that we need to use that so we can actually get the value and the data from the database, basically. So then obviously now we've got this select statement, we've got to execute that. So we're going to do cursor dot 
execute and then select statement. So we're going to execute that SQL query and hopefully get the username password out of that database. So next we can do login underscore data equals cursor dot fetch all because we want to fetch all the data. <clears throat> next we're going to do cred equals a dictionary and then string equals just a blank string for now. <clears throat> Next we can do for URL user underscore name and PWD in login underscore data because we want to get the URL, the username and the password that's in login underscore data which is cursor.fetchall getting all data and then we're going to do the PWD equals win32 crypt dot unprotect actually it's capital C crypt and then capital U unprotect and then capital D data then parenthesis and then PWD that's how we're going to get the password next we're going to do cred and then square brackets URL so we're going to basically creating our key which is the URL we're going to add the values to our credentials dictionary and we're going to do equals tuple user underscore name PWD and then we're going to do square brackets one because we want to index it to one for the PWD because otherwise we get a bit of um, extra baggage basically some we get some strings that we don't really need index it to one and that just get password as I've done it before and then we're going to decode UTF-8 right next next we just do string which is relating to this blank string at the minute we're going to do string plus equals and then just to make it look nice we got url and then percent s username percent s password percent s and then we got the percent and then we've got our, our values here basically what we're doing is we just got url and then we've got the url value we've got username and then the username and then the password we have the password and that's it basically and then also we just got a print print string and that's the code done now I'm just going to add if if underscore underscore name underscore underscore is equal to comma underscore underscore main underscore underscore and then we're going to run git underscore chrome so git underscore chrome parentheses save that save it now I'm going to test it out make sure it all works run the code duh, duh, duh. and as you can see We've got accounts, Google, username, W3 underscore example, Gmail, password, this is for the W3 channel, Facebook, username, W3, Facebook example, password, only for test. And there you have it, everyone. We've just cracked and got all the passwords that someone could have saved to their Chrome browser, which a lot of people do save. If you had it on a USB stick and quickly plugged it in, and then got a text document to save on your USB stick, take the matter of what, two seconds? You could add an email, a bit of code to this, so that it emails you once a week, updating you with the credentials of the Chrome browser. There's many possibilities that you can do with this, but this is just the bare basics of how to get the passwords from the Chrome browser. So, I hope you've enjoyed it, I hope you learned something new. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more great content otherwise you're going to keep missing out on these videos you might miss one great video and you might see the next so hit that subscribe button hit that notification comment below give the video a like if you like it and goodbye